Hey, what's up? Today I'm gonna go over packaging and I'm gonna try not to go on a tangent um, and repeat myself and do other stuff like that. I'm sure I'm gonna have to edit a bunch of stuff out because I'm sure I'm gonna do that. Because unlike creating game stuff, this is gonna be more of kind of like me talking about dash lecturing about packaging in Unreal Engine. So let's get started. So what is packaging? So packaging in Unreal Engine is essentially the process of taking your project and then creating a standalone executable version of it, which means that it can run independently without requiring the Unreal Engine editor uh, or any other type of software to actually play the game. So the key purpose of uh, packaging is to essentially bundle all the stuff that you have within your games, just the assets and you know the code and anything else, uh, so that the final product that you have can be distributed and played on other platforms. So like your computer of course, but also like phones and then game systems like Xbox or something like that, or whatever, <laughs> whatever else. During this packaging, uh, Unreal Engine optimizes assets such as the textures, meshes, and like all the audio stuff and the other content, and it compresses them to reduce the overall size of the package product. Packaging the product reduces the size of the game itself. <laughs> I didn't explain that very well. Um, yeah, it, so it does that to ensure that the performance is better and that it doesn't take a million years to load. So the good thing about Unreal Engine is that it actually has a built-in support system for multiple different types of platforms. So when you package the product, the engine or the thing that you're trying to tailor it to, um, it has those configurations kind of already set up. So if you look over here, this is where you're going to package your game. So under platforms, it used to be up here under file, but uh, they moved it. So it's under here for platforms. And for here, Windows. So there's a bunch of different things, debug, development, and shipping. If you click the uh, shipping offer, the, the shipping option, shipping configuration is what uh, strips out all the development related features such as like uh, logs and uh, debug information uh, Which that's the one that you want to pick. It's the one that you use for like the best performance All right, so let's get started like showing stuff So the first thing you want to do is actually go into your project settings If you're trying to package your stuff and then you go to, I think it's maps and modes. That's what, actually it's, I see it right here. Maps and modes. And what you want to make sure you have is the default uh, startup maps. Because if you don't have anything here, it's gonna end up with a black window when you start up the game, once you uh, package this game. So whatever's gonna be the start thing, it should be probably the main menu, right? Our, yeah, I, I can't imagine what else would be. So like you'd have the main menu as your like startup first thing. So mine's already third person map. So let's go out here and let's go to this. So this is where I'm going to package my game. It just says patch it, package project. And here are a bunch of different other options here for Android, iOS, Linux, whatever. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. I'm gonna click the package project and it's going to pull up this thing. I'm going to select the folder and you can see, do you want to access this app? Uh, allow. <laughs> so it's packaging project for Windows. You can show the output log here. 
if there's errors, you're gonna have to go fix those. Um, if you just copy and paste the error message, uh, maybe in like, I don't know, ChatGPT or something, that it'll, uh, it'll probably help you find what the error is. But let's see if I end up with any errors. And it doesn't look like I did. So I'm actually good with that. So now it's packaged. All right, now let's see this package project. So after I package my project, I now have it in here. So um, I'm gonna double click on it and it opens me right into the game. And it opens me up to the level that I picked, which I didn't have any other levels besides this one. So normally I would have a uh, menu that it would open up to instead but I didn't have any for this one. So everything's working correctly. That's working. Person R, shielding, and everything works. So that's how you package a project. So uh, I hope that was helpful. Goodbye.